the in this uh, situation I'm using another drawing also for the reason to have a clear picture so this is why I will deactivate the reinforcement of the slab and then go here reinf section and create a view so if I wanted a plain section I just had to do one click inside that selection circle and I get here a clear picture you see it's a clear contour and I will enforce it with 2D so I make sure that I can control the, para the layout so the way I'm going to do that is with adding some 2D formwork uh, as a role of formwork to make sure that the contour will be clear enough here I'll add the anchorage let's say I will reinforce with feet 10 and I'll anchorage 60 diameters so 0.6 will be this I can even say more let's say one meter anchorage okay and I will also add a circle here circle based on the middle I think there will be a good solution no I'll add with three points. Okay, and now I'll have to define it counterclockwise. And then I will remove the slab, although the slab is the one that's going to be reinforced, to make sure that it will not affect the contour. So I'm removing now the structural elements from this view to keep only this uh, polyline. So only this 2D construction should remain here in order to make sure that the contour will be smooth. So all other structural elements is no problem that they keep them. I'll go here and remove auto delete this segment. There's also one slab left, so I'll remove it from the view. So now I'm left mostly with the 3D with a 2D construction, and these are some other elements. So what we'll do now is go to engineering, the same function, enter reinforcement area, span reinforcement. This concrete cover should be with minus. And I have to make sure that on the low side I have this area detection uh, activated, so it's on, on. It's one click and it will detect the formwork. Also, the, we have to input some coordinates to get the correct depth. I don't have an associative view here, so I'll do the measurements. So basically, if I measure here, the top of the slab is 3.05. So I'll go like this, minus the thickness, which is 0 0.15. I'll input the thickness to 0.15. And I'll input here the concrete cover. And that's about it. I hit OK. I have all these bars generated. And I can choose the anchorage. So to have it just on the starting point. And okay, I don't know what this means exactly. Okay, and I have to do some grouping of the rebar because they're quite variable. We'll also watch the bending sh schedules, how it look on a slab. We can either choose to have one single reinforcement for everything and get a variable table or it can do this grouping so it's not a good idea now to place the labels for everything i prefer another approach i will change here the setting and i will input to have the same mark so it will be ticked to combine 
so it will make the same mark okay okay so I'll only represent one rebar as a top reinforcement The anchorage I would have wanted the other way around so I'll change it here okay go to this setting and change the other way hit okay and for the other direction I just just have to match this polygon it added automatically the extra shape the extra concrete cover hit okay and now it matched the other direction it escaped well not escape I can hide the bar let's say I'll represent only one bar in any stage I can redo these uh, operations so hiding a placement it's quite easy especially when we need to make some room for the text to be seen and also I can just copy a mirror the slab below but uh, I won't do that as I need uh, to change the reinforcement on the low side so I'll just match I'll just create another reinforcement area match this current polygon change here the concrete cover maybe the angle should be 90 okay and uh, I wanted a V8 okay choose a bar to represent this is the bar this is the distance for the bar and this is the mark of the bar and I will match this to add another for the other direction hit ok select here a bar hold it and just place the description for it also if I wanted to add hooks for this it's no problem anytime I need to make a change I just go to the geometry change hit ok and here I can add hooks to both ends ok ok so also for this I had to do this change so changes with hooks without hooks are quite easy to be done in all plan and everything adapts ok So now in 3D I have this also activated and detailed. And if I want to make a plan now, it's quite easy. I will just activate both drawings. And I can use them to create a plan. So I can create a plan out of many drawings and it's quite indicated that you, you use several drawings when uh, you do the detailing or creating information to make sure that the program runs smoothly and here also I'll right click label view And I will also add the bending schedule. So reinforcement, reinforcing bar legend, bar schedule, bending schedule. And I will click here. Here are the bars. It's 6,544 kilograms. I can do a rearrangement of marks and I will hit OK. And you'll see now I have 60 marks after I hit OK. I have only 32 marks. So the software, if I hit undo, will automatically detect if similar marks have been generated. So for instance, this one matches this one. Mark 1 is with mark 5. And also there were some unique numberings because I did in separate drawings the rebar. So basically, this is optimization of the number of the marks. Let's just say rearrange view, hit OK. And 
Now, so I can break the page. Let's say page break and leave 10, per, 10 marks per drawing. And also there's this X feature. So X means it's a variable length. So in order to detail the X or the variable rebar, we just have to go to full schema and input the number of the marks and we'll get some extra tables for this where we get the exact dimension of that A with sub marks. Same with mark number two. And mark number four. And so on. So everything time we see an X and we want to give the exact dimension for this variable, we'll have to pick up that form. Of course, in we can see that the bending schedule is almost the size of the plan. So if you want to give them separately, we have this option of going to reinforcement reports and select here. I have many languages available, let's say in uh, English. Or maybe this one is in Greek. And uh, there is one for the Greek to send the reinforcement. So I can choose one. And select one. Yes, and uh, we'll choose a reinforcement with bending. And we'll get the reports generated with uh, the kilograms per meter. These bars are straight bars, while these ones are bended. So we get this separation per diameter. And then we get on the next page each bar with its details. And on uh, the last page, we will get each small dimension for each type of rebar. So we get like a block notes. We can export this in Word or in Excel. And then open it to see it. So we have here a war report that we can send to the bending factory. So we help the guys there uh, not work that hard or avoid making some mistakes. We give them, them exactly which bars to create to be properly delivered to the site and properly reinforce the slab. So everything, everyone would work less if they get this detailed uh, report and the beneficiary should be happy because the bars are the real ones, there's nothing added. Also is this possibility of sending it to automatic bending machines and it will create a file, let's say slab, for the bending machine. It is a format that is read by this type of bending machine. So we'll select this folder and then we can say slab on. We can associate with a drawing. Whatever, add some information. And basically, I can show that much is ABS. It's a, a format that is useful for the cutting machine. So basically, here there are the coordinates for the automatic bending machine to work, operate, and generate all the bars. So it again saves a lot of time because the engineer in the factory doesn't have to re-input the bars for the machines to create. So they don't have to manually input in the, their own software to generate that file. We can send already the files for them.